watching State Fair Roadrunner Basketball. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search one word, Roadrunner Hoops. Go Roadrunners! You are tuned to State Fair Roadrunner Basketball. Spread the word and be a roadrunner. Go Roadrunners! How would you like to earn a salary while you gain industry knowledge and experience? The apprenticeship program at State Fair Community College may be just what you're looking for. Training programs are available in 1,500 occupations across 170 industries. If you're interested in being an apprentice or becoming an employer partner, email apprenticeships at sfccmo.edu or call 660-596-7135. When you buy a used car, how do you know that it hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile 6, powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. Did you know that over 12,000 people visit the Dom Museum of Contemporary Art each year? The Dom Museum, on the Sedalia campus of State Fair Community College, features nine exhibition galleries and over 9,000 square feet. You'll find a permanent collection of over 1,500 pieces of art from artists spanning the last 50 years. The museum also features three rotating exhibits each year, so you're sure to experience something new, whether it's your first time or your tenth time visiting. Visitors are welcome to embark on self-guided tours or go on an interactive guided tour with museum staff. The Dom Museum is open six days a week, Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 5 p.m. Admission is always free and visitors are welcome to make a donation or purchase a membership at the door. For more information, visit dommuseum.org. That's D-A-U-M museum.org. Or you can call 660-530-5888. It's time for State Fair Lady Roadrunner Basketball. Lady Roadrunner Basketball is a sports exclusive of State Fair Community College, Sedalia, Missouri. This webcast and all Roadrunner sports can be found at sfccmoroadrunners.com and on YouTube channel Roadrunner Hoops. Now we go courtside with Al McCurdy and the voice of the Lady Roadrunners, David Rohrbach. Good evening, everyone, from the Davis Center on the campus of State Fair Community College. It's Lady Roadrunner basketball tonight as region play begins for both teams as State Fair is hosting the Lady Greyhounds from Moberly. Glad to have you along on a very cold and uh, wintry night in West Central Missouri. Alongside is the voice of the Lady Roadrunners, David Rohrbach, and 
David, it's good to see the region finally get going here, and uh, it's nice to have it at home, isn't it? Yeah, you always want to start at home, and tonight we'll begin to get a, good, a better picture of how, how good this team is, because from here on out, there are some pretty talented teams awaiting the Lady Roadrunners. State Fair comes in with a record of 13-1. and one. They average 79 points per game, give up only 53, and the Lady Roadrunners are shooting 44% from the field, 30% from beyond the arc. They rebound 42 rebounds per ball game. They have uh, averaged 16 turnovers and 15 assists per ball game, and they average 68% from the free throw line. Tonight's opponent is the Lady Greyhounds from Moberly. The Lady Hounds come in with a record of eight and six. Both teams are have not played in region, so this is the first one for both teams in region 16. Lady Greyhounds average 71 points per game, give up only 61. They shoot at 39% from the field, 24% from three, and 60% from the free throw line. So it's the Lady Roadrunners and the Lady Greyhounds here tonight. Our public address announcer tonight is Doug Sokolowski, as uh, Matt Borland has the night off. And we'll see, looks like we'll have the national anthem before this ball game. And still waiting for the Lady Greyhounds to make their presence on the floor here. And so we'll do the national anthem without the Lady Greyhounds here. And the National Anthem from the Davis Center. And following the National Anthem, the Lady Greyhounds decide to make their presence known on the floor. Interesting. And uh, we'll have the starting lineups. At least the Lady Greyhounds are on the floor for the starting lineups. And we'll see how this goes here for the starting lineups. Let's take a look at them. First of all, for the Lady Greyhounds, we mentioned they come in with a record of 8 and 6. And they are coached by first-year coach Erica Harris in the ball game here tonight. Starting lineups for Coach Harris will be Destiny Bynum Johnson, a freshman, 5'10", in the starting lineup, as well as Sydney Pettis, a 6'2 freshman. Jordan Labrador Hollett, a freshman at 5'7", in the starting lineup, as, long, as well as Barbara Arroyo Gilchrist, a 5'8 freshman, and Kiki Gusecki, a sophomore at 5'9". That is the starters for the Lady Greyhounds here tonight. And for the Lady Roadrunners, coached by Nicole Collier in her third year. Assistant coach is Grant Hopkins in his second year as the assistant. Here is the starting lineups for the Lady Roadrunners here tonight. For Thomas Johnson Nash, LT, a freshman 5'8", from Dallas, Texas. Kaya Green, a freshman 5'5", from Cocoa, Florida. Madison Johnson, a freshman 5'7", from Harrisonville, Missouri. 
Malaya Miller, a freshman guard, 5'9", from Columbia, Missouri. And the leading scorer for the Lady Roadrunners at the post, Jada Ship, sophomore, 6'1", averages 12 points, 7 rebounds per ball game. And the Lady Greyhounds are led in scoring by Destiny Bynum Johnson, averaging 15 points, 8 rebounds per ball game. That is their leading scorer for their ball club. So it's the Lady Roadrunners and the Lady Greyhounds here tonight as region play starts. And with the call tonight, here is the voice of the Lady Roadrunner, David Warbach. Jada Ship will jump center for the Lady Roadrunners. Arroyo Gilcrease will do the honors for the Lady Lady Greyhounds. The ball in the end. Here we go. Tip controlled by Miller, the Lady Roadrunner. And they will have the ball headed to our right. They kick it on the perimeter to Johnson out high against this uh, man to man defense. Johnson on the elbow. Out to KG Green for a deep three. It's off. Rebounded by Madison Johnson. Stick back up. No good. Rebounded by KG Green again, and it's knocked out of bounds by the Lady Greyhounds, and it'll be Lady Roadrunner basketball with 18 on the shot clock, 9.32 remaining on the game clock, and still nothing, nothing. Mobley is a very intensive defensive ball club, gives up only 61 game points per ball game. Miller at the top of the logo, he goes high post for Jada Ship, and there'll be a foul called away from the ball. It'll be on the Lady Greyhounds. It appears, and that'll go on uh, Bria Arroyo Gilcrease, her first team's first in the quarter. Johnson to inbound it, goes on the wing to Miller. Miller to kick it over to KG Green. The Lady Rodos looking at a high post, they kick it around. Nice look in there for Jada Ship. Ship will turn and score to open the scoring for the game for the Lady Roadrunners. Nice high low dish, and uh, Jada with her first two. Lady Ground will have it with at the top of the key. Offensive foul on on a on a Royal Gilcrease. Okay. Her her second. It'll be the Lady Roadrunners against a uh, pre pressured pressured defense. Now the the ball being inbounded by L T Johnson. Nash to, to Madison Johnson gets the uh, soft pressure defense employed by the Lady Greyhounds. The Lady Roadrunners will break it. Johnson at the top of the key against the Royal Gilcrease to Miller. High post to Jada Ship. Ship turns and goes against Yasiki. And Jada will drive and draw the foul against Yasiki. Nice move there by uh, Jada, Jada Ship. And she'll head to the free throw line for a pair. The first foul on Yusiki as a uh, ship led to the free throw line. Jade is a 70% uh, free throw shooter. The first is up and good. The Lady Roadrunners lead 3 0 with 8.39 remaining in the opening period as Jade will have one more. Jade is ship with all four for the Lady Roadrunners. It's 4 0 with 8.30 remaining in the opening quarter. Labrador Hallett will have it at the top of the key to Yasiki. That's knocked away and will remain in possession of Lady Greyhounds with 18 on the shot clock and 8.27 remaining on the uh, first quarter game clock. That'll be triggered in. Looking, looking in the corner for Arroyo Gilcrease. She goes to the high post back to Labrador Hallett on a weave. Another high post look. They kick it around for Arroyo Gilcrease. The uh, layup opportunity is up, but no good. But she's fouled. And she'll earn herself a trip to the free throw line with her team trailing 4 0, 8 10 remaining in the opening period. Well, the Lady Roadrunners doing well on defense. The uh, Lady Greyhounds, as a team, shoot it at 60% from the free throw line on the season. The, the shot is up and spun home by Broya Arroyo Gilcrease, a 54% uh, free throw shooter on the season. She'll have one more. 
The second one is up and off the rim. Rebounded by Jada Ship. Ship will get it to Johnson in the backcourt against the pressure of Labrador Hallett. LT Johnson has the top of the key. High post to Ship. Kick it in the corner for KG Green. That three is splashed home. We have a quick timeout to Lady Greyhounds with the with Lady Roadrunner League 7 1 with 7.54 remaining in the opening quarter. When you buy a used car, how do you know it hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. Catch the Roadrunners online at sfccmoroadrunners.com. Uh, you can tell right now, David, this is going to be a very scrappy ball game as the Lady Roadrunners lead it by a score of 7-1. to one. And the three out there just moments ago, the Roadrunners need that to open up the inside and let Jada and Briar Cox or whoever might be in there, Q Jackson, uh, give them a little bit of room. So you got to hit the outside shot to give your inside game a chance. You can tell Moberly is really packing it in and against the post players. And there's just a di different level of intensity in a game like this. You can definitely tell the difference between uh, non-region and region basketball. There's just a little bit uh, different level in the buildings this evening. As uh, the Lady Greyhounds inbound it out of the timeout. Bynum Johnson to inbound it to Labrador Hallett against the Lady Roadrunners man-to-man -man defense. Dribble, dribble weave action. Bynum Johnson near elbow. Throws it away. Jada Ship with a steal. Jada all by herself. The layup is up. No good. Rebounded by Mobley. Taken away by Madison Johnson. Johnson will get the uh, stick back up and good. Good play by Madison. Nice offensive board. Strong move. Stay fair with her largest lead. Labrador Hallett at the point once again. A Royal Gilcrease against Myra Class, who will make her first appearance in a couple games. They feed the low post. That's battered away. And the Lady Greyhounds will maintain possession with only 10 on the shot clock and 7 11 on the game clock in the first quarter. The Lady Greyhounds will inbound it with Bynum Johnson to Royal Gilcrease. She'll step back, take the three short, rebounded on the floor by Jada Ship. Ship Picks it up to LT Johnson Nash. Three Lady Greyhounds will check in at the next dead ball to KG at the top of the point against the zone. Meyer thought about the three, but she shuffled the pivot foot in the process. It's one of those things, David, where you, she's used to taking that three, and then at the last minute, said, no, I think I got an opening to drive, but then uh, took the extra step. Next time, that'll be either a three or be a bucket underneath. She's you're, that good. You're better off with your first instinct in Myers' case. Campbell at point for the Lady Roadrunners. Lady Greyhounds. They kick it around back to Campbell. High post. I think they're going to get uh, the Lady Roadrunners for a foul. With the arm in the back. The first will go on Jada Ship. Here comes Q Jackson in the lineup for the Lady Roadrunners. Q will be a big key to how the rest of the season goes. Absolutely. Her and Jada in there will be tough. A deep, th a deep three is splashed home by DelVal to cut the Lady Ground depths to 9-4. The Lady Roadrunners are handling the pressure. They'll throw it loose in the backcourt. they got to get it across here. Johnson will run it down. Two on three. Nice play by Madison to, to create an opportunity is She'll find herself at the free, at the free throw line. Now the Lady Roadrunners are almost in trouble in the backcourt against the pressure. That foul will go on Michaela Guest, her first. Already the fifth team foul for the uh, Lady Greyhounds. A 
Madison will uh, see the first one bounce off the rim. She is a 58% uh, free throw shooter on the season. Lady Greyhounds averaged 20 fouls per ball game. So the second one spins, and the Lady Roanoke lead 10 4, 6 15 remaining in the, a quarter. As they race it up the floor and turn it over, it'll go back to the Lady Roadrunners. Both teams struggling a little bit early with the uh, keeping possession of the basketball. That's the third turnover. They average 19, does the Lady, Ro the Lady Greyhounds. The Lady Greyhounds went to a full court trapping defense. The Lady Roadrunners got it in and were able to draw a foul away from the basket. That foul will go on De Desiree Bryant, her first. Already the 15 foul will send Green to the free throw line for a pair. The first one spins out. KG is a 66% uh, free throw shooter on the season. She'll have one more. She will split the pair of free throws as the Lady Runners will settle back into their man-to-man -man defense. As uh, Zeta Campbell will bring it across the timeline for the Lady Greyhounds. Three is up in the corner, no good. Rebounded by Q Jackson. Q will find uh, LT in the backcourt. LT dribbles through, a, dribbles through a trap. One of the Lady Grounds will pick up a reaching foul as all the Lady Grounds are racking up some fouls early in the first quarter. Yeah, I know that uh, Coach Harris is upset already. But, you know, you, if you foul him, you got to call him. And uh, the Lady Greyhounds are known. They're a scrappy bunch. Very aggressive, and that uh, calls for some fouls sometimes. They average 20 fouls per ball game. That'll be the first call on Del Val. The free throw is up, rolls around, spins down. It'll, almost, it'll also be important for the Lady Rollers to take, take advantage of these opportunities that they're getting from the charity stripe early in the contest. The second one is up, no good. Rebounded, rebounded away by Bynum Johnson. Bynum Johnson goes the whole way. She'll uh, knock home the uh, jumper and draw the foul. And that's one thing that she does well. Bynum Johnson is a leading scorer and rebounder per game, I believe. So That's a player that does a lot of different things for this Mobley Ball Club. As Marshall will check in for the Lady Roadrunners. Still up 12-6 with 5.45 remaining in the quarter. Bynum Johnson's free throw is up, no good. Q Jackson will chase it down in the back in the in the backcourt against the pressure. The whistle is blown. They'll they'll re That was a ten second violation. That's the quickest ten seconds I've seen, David. That that is a very quick ten seconds. Huh? It'll be a lady roadrunner basketball. Trying to reset the clock, I guess. To, to 25, so only five seconds left. The shot clock. The Lady Roadrunners will see this 3-2 uh, full court pressure. Marshall will break it in the middle. They try to force it, but they pick it up, and now, now they'll get that 10 second call as the uh, as the count doesn't restart. And the Lady Roadrunners have to do a better job handling the uh, full court pressure defense. Yeah, the press is going to be in their face all night long. Bynum Johnson to inbound it to Campbell. Bynum Johnson will get it back on the handoff. She'll drive to the rack, go up, miss the shot, rebounded by Myra Class. Class had it taken away. It's out off the Lady Greyhounds. And I think the Lady Greyhounds decided to turn up the uh, defense pressure out. You know, State Fair is going to have to know that they're going to be there. They're scrappy, they double team, their press is very good. Marshall will trigger this in against the 1-2-2 uh, uh, one, two, two full court pressure defense. And the Lady Roadrunners will break, the break it this time with Myra Class. They'll swing it around. KG at the top of the key at the logo. KG will go all the way, miss the layup. She's trying to draw contact and couldn't get it done. Campbell to DelVal on the uh, fast break layup is up and good. Mobley taps it away. Stolen away by Bynum Johnson in the corner. Another turnover. Campbell will bring it to the top of the key. Campbell will attack. And I think Campbell is fouled by Q 
Hugh Jackson, I believe. We'll see who they get. See who they get the foul on. Officially, Campbell or Bynum Johnson will inbound it. Del Val off a nice cut. She missed the shot. Rebounded, and this time they'll get a foul on the uh, Lady Greyhounds and send the Lady Roadrunners back to the free throw line. Up 12-8 with 4.49 remaining in the opening period. Madison will make another trip to the free throw line. And the double bonus this early, and you're right, David, from what you mentioned earlier, State Fair needs to take advantage from the free throw line. Lady Roadrunners are a 68% shooting bunch as a team on the season. This first one bounces off the back rim and no good off the uh, front of the rim. Johnson will have, have another one. She misses that one, rebounded by Q Jackson, but the pass is... To, to no one as Myra Class tried to save it, but she ran out of real estate. That time, Q had an opportunity to do a spin, and she was wide open, but unselfishly thought that she would dish it out and start a fresh 20, but another turnover. That's number four for State Fair. Arsela Malalovic is in the game for uh, Moberly. And a nice look down there, though. A layup was missed by Guest. She'll get her own rebound. A battle for it. Guest is still out there. They'll reset it for Desiree Bryant to Bynum Johnson. She'll attack. Finger roll up and good. That'll uh, cut the Lady Road on her lead at 2 at 12 10. Class will break the pressure on the dribble. Give it to Madison Johnson. Madison attacks. The shot is missed. On the floor, battling for it. Moberly will win the, win the battle. And it'll be Moberly basketball with 4 one remaining in the quarter. It's all going to be about, about who handles this uh, pressure defense the best, Al. Yeah, State Fair has not seen a defense like this so far this season. And uh, I'm sure Lady Greyhounds haven't seen a team like State Fair either. So this ought to be a very interesting ball game here. Malovic on the uh, near wing. She'll give it to Brown in the corner. And uh, Bynum, Bynum Johnson ran out of real estate. As we see that a lot, Alice, she just stepped out of bounds. Yeah, at least once a game on average. State Fair needs to handle this press right here. KG will break it with herself on the dribble. And De Desir Desiree Bryant will pick up that foul. Already her second. That'll send Nikayla Green back to the free back to the free throw line for a pair. Going to see how deep the uh, bench is for the Lady Greyhounds here tonight. It looks like lots of fouls here in the first quarter. Labrador Howell and Yasiki are back in for the Lady Greyhounds. The first free throw for KG spins up and good. Second free throw spins off. Malovic will grab the rebound. The outlet pass was just a little bit too long for Campbell as the Lady Ground will turn it over. They trail by three with 3.33 remaining in the opening period. More pressure defense. Johnson surveys. Campbell stole the pass. It's stolen back by Briar Cox off the outlet pass. K KG will bring it across the timeline to Miller. And the tra travel will be called on the Lady Roadrunner. You can tell Al, everything is just a little bit sped up for the Lady Roadrunner right now. Yeah, the, the defense is, is causing most of these turnovers. That's number five for State Fair. That's one thing State Fair will have to handle is, first of all, the press, and then really the half-court defense by Mobley is very good, too. Labrador Hallett at the controls. She'll call out the play against KG off a of high screen. That's a moving screen on Yasiki. That's another call we see pretty often. Uh, that's already the second on Yasiki of the uh, quarter. Keep mounting up and uh, still only 3.07 to go in the first quarter. Lots of fouls on the Lady Greyhounds. Johnson will have it in the backcourt. 
to Marshall. They play catch with it. Marshall has it in the middle of the floor. They tried to kick it to Briar Cox. The pass had a little bit too much mustard on it as they look for her in the short corner. State Fair, when they handle this press, they do a better job when they get somebody right in the middle, right around the logo. The pass to the wing and then pass in the middle seems to be the best uh, remedy for this press. If you, if you get the ball in the middle of the floor and get it out to the side, there should be space to be had as the Lady Greyhounds will break this down with Labrador Hallett and the Lady Greyhounds will throw it out of bounds. Neither team is uh, controlling their turnovers very well to start this uh, quarter out. Main thing for State Fair is you're going to get to the free throw line tonight and just make your free throws. It's going to be a big difference. KG will break the press to, to Johnson to Malia Miller. KG with a deep three from the beak that's up, no good. Marshall will grab the offensive rebound. She'll come down with the, that's a jump ball. The arrow will point Moberly's way this time in the alternate possession. Labrador Hallett will call out, call out the play once again against the man to man defense of Michaela Green off a screen by Guest. A traveling violation on Bynum Johnson. The officials are calling it pretty close so far, Al. Yeah, being close and then uh, aggressive on the on the play. It's going to mount up to lots of fouls here tonight. KG will cross the logo. She's trapped. She tries to slip between two, de two defenders but runs out of room. Campbell's layup is up and good. And the Lady Roadhouse turn it over against the press. They only lead by one. Marshall will break it this time to, to Johnson. To KG for the three that's up and no good. Marshall offensive rebound up, no good. She tried it off foul and couldn't. As the Lady Grounds race the other way with it. Campbell is open against Miller. Labrador Hallett. Bynum Johnson on the far elbow. She'll fire the deep three that's up, no good. Rebounded off the floor by KG. KG will bring it herself in the corner to Miller. She'll tee up a deep three that's no good. Battle for the rebound. And there'll be a foul call on the Lady Roadrunners. Foul number five for both teams. So we walk to the other side and Lady Greyhound's next opportunity will shoot two. Both teams in the bonus and Let's keep on mounting up as, in fact, the uh, double bonus will be shot by the Lady Hounds right now. So, Kayla Sullivan will come in for the Lady Roadrunners. And Tamaya Stevenson will check in the contest for the Lady, Road, for the Lady Greyhounds. Ma Mahalovic's free throw is up and good. She'll have one more. And the game is tied at 13 off that missed free throw. With 1-10 remaining in the, uh, in the quarter, the Lady Roadrunners almost lose out of bounds, but it's tapped away by the Lady Greyhounds. And the Lady Roadrunners will have it with 22 on the shot clock, a minute one remaining in the uh, quarter. KG on the near elbow to Briar Cox on the wing. Cox tried to fire a pass across the baseline. It's taken away by Campbell. Campbell will race the other way with it. And the Lady Greyhounds will set up the offense. Labrador Havlett off the screen. She'll fire the three that's up and no good. Michaela Guest tried to bat it to a teammate, but uh, Madison Johnson was the only one there. Miller. Back to Johnson. She'll step into a three. Think about it. Back to Miller. That long shot is up. No good. Campbell with the rebound. She'll race it with it. The Lady Greyhounds have, have the final shot if they want it. But Campbell will go, the, uh, go right to the basket and draw a foul from the Lady Roadrunners. State Fair has been on a four-minute, ten-second drought offensively, David. And uh, we're on a pace to have each team have uh, 
30 turnovers here tonight. Neither coach would be very happy with that number. There's a, Mo, a, a Royal Gilcrest is back in for the Lady Greyhound with the game tied at 13. Campbell's first free throw is up and good. And that's the first lead for the Lady Greyhounds of the evening. Campbell's second free throw is off, no good. Here comes Sullivan with it to Johnson with five, four. Miller with two. Miller fires up a deep three that rolls off the front rim and the uh, Lady Greyhounds will lead this thing by one, 14-13 at the end of the first quarter. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Boonville, WK Chevy in Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. A slip on the ice, a fall that has left you hurting. There are a lot of reasons that you may need physical therapy. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, Clinic Director at Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. We strive to enhance each patient's health, fitness, and quality of life while specializing in individual treatment. If you've been putting off physical therapy, ask to be referred to Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. Visit peaksportspine.com to find a clinic near you. You are watching State Fair Hoops. Go Roadrunners! Well, a very entertaining first quarter. State Fair is having a tough time with the defense of Mobley here in this first quarter. Got out to a good start. Had a 9-1 lead. Then the last four minutes or so, State Fair went out on a drought and was able for Lady Greyhounds to get back in the ball game. Both teams have eight turnovers in that first quarter, so on average for 32 for ball game. I'm sure that will come down hopefully for per team. You'd like to see a little cleaner ball game, but a lot of those, David, I know that State Fair, even when they get an open shot there, they shoot it quick. They feel like the defense is going to be on very quickly, so not shooting well at all. Meyer class to inbound it to KG to open the quarter. The Lady Grand in their trapping zone defense. KG on the backside for a three. There's one that's up and splashed home. There's that three that Nikayla has been looking for to open the game. That's her second. She has eight points to lead the way. A short shot is missed by the uh, Lady Greyhounds and rebounded by Sullivan. KG back up with it. That's knocked away and batted around. Jada Ship will come up with it, but flip it behind her head and miss. Rebounded by Michaela Guest of the uh, Lady Greyhounds. Here comes Labrador Hallett. A Royal Gilcrease on the far elbow against the man to man defense. Off the screen, the dumping in low, but the uh, pass is off target and turned over by the Lady Greyhounds. Now we get a chance to see any adjustment by State Fair handling this press. Sullivan in there with it to KG. They go off the sideline this time. Jada Ship with a short jumper up, no good. The Lady Greyhounds will race back with it. Labrador Hallett in the post to Michaela, Michaela Guest. Jada Ship will pick up the foul on the entry feed. We'll see a substitution for the Lady Roadrunners with Q Jackson back into the contest. Labrador Howlett off the screen. Back into Guest. Guest will spin and miss the shot. Stolen away by Q. As, John, as Madison will race it up the, into the front court. Against his zone defense. Myro fired a three this time. 
That's a little off. Johnson came flying in for the rebound, but couldn't control it. As the lady ground, will race it up to the other end of the floor. Michaela Guest, free throw line jumper, is up. No good. Rebounded by Royal Gilcrease in the corner. Thrown away. That should be an open back on the uh, Lady Greyhound, but it is. As Mahalovic tried to chase it down to the backcourt, but it's already an open back. Our officials are debating about the position of the shot clock. It'll uh, put it back to 30. To, to KG at the point off the inbounds. To Madison Johnson. To Q. To Myra Class on the deep three. That's up. No good. Rebounded by Moberly. They'll race up the floor of Labrador Hallett. To Mahalovic. Back, back to Arroyo Gilcrease on the free throw line. Guest rebounded up. No good. A battle for it. And it should be a Lady Roadrunner basketball. Foul on the play against Mobley. And that is against Michaela Guest. Her, her second. The Lady Roadrunner will have to continue to handle this pressure. Kiki Asiki is back in for Moberly. I believe she already has two fouls. A nice look in the middle of the floor to, to Johnson, to Myra Class, to KG. Q will go hard on the baseline, miss the shot. Sullivan will lose the battle for the rebound, and Mobley will race out of there with it. Labrador Hallett, and they'll call the Lady Graham for a travel as she just didn't get the uh, dribble down as fast as the foot moved. Turnover number 11 for the Lady Greyhounds. Once again, State Fair gets somebody in the middle. They had a better shot of beating this press. Isaiah Campbell's back in for Lady Greyhounds. Sullivan to class against the pressure behind the back. She'll break the timeline. KG will fire the deep three off the front of the rim. Campbell will pull the rebound off the floor. A Royal Gilcrease back up with it. She'll pull it out and run, run some clock to set the offense to Campbell. Hand off to Royal Gilcrease. A dribble weave to Labrador Hallett. More dribble weave back to Campbell. Spinning against Sullivan, up, no good. Rebounded by KG. KG back with it on the elbow. That ball is tapped away into the mobile event. It'll be Lady Roadrunner basketball. LT Johnson Nash back in the contest for the Lady Roadrunners. State Fair should know probably by now the skip passes are not, not on the menu here tonight. And no lazy cross court passes either because. The lady, the lady Grounds will gamble in the passing lanes. There's a skip pass to Johnson in the corner. That shot is splashed home. State Fair's third triple as a team. That really is necessary to loosen up this inside. A Royal Gilcrease goes one on one against class. They'll pull it out to Labrador Hallett on the dribble weave to A Royal Gilcrease. The shot is missed, rebounded by Johnson. And there'll be a, a foul called for a hold, a holding, a holding foul. Johnson will have it on the elbow to class. The, the shot is up and good for Kamora McClure. 21-14, Lady Roadrunners lead with 540 remaining. Desiree Bryant to Campbell. Campbell will battle with McClure. They'll get McClure for a reach foul and they'll put the uh, Lady Grounds in possession. It'll be the Lady Grounds inbounding with Bryant. Oh, the pass is stolen away by stolen away by McClure. Q, Q Jackson will have an opportunity on the other end, but she 
but the ball is lost out of bounds and turned back over to a Moberly. Just another a turnover. State Fair's defense has been pretty good for the most part as well here tonight. State Fair gives up only 53 points per game. Moberly only 61, so it's going to be a dogfight here tonight, it appears, on the defensive side. State Fair needs to hit their free throws, David. It would be a big difference in this game. Campbell at the point this time for the Lady Greyhounds. On the dribble weave action to DelVal. And the corner back to Campbell for the three that's no good. Rebounded by Myra Class. Class will kick it off to Kamora McClure at the elbow. McClure goes behind her back. She'll find Class on the point. Back to McClure. High post LT Johnson Nash. She has Q on the uh, Q on the baseline. Q went up to attack. She'll draw the blocking, draw the blocking foul. That'll be the third on number 15, DelVal. We have a timeout with the Lady Roanoke leading 21-14 with 4.52 remaining in the uh, second quarter. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best, your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients and the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy. We do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapist in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. This is Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel, Roadrunner Hoops. Like and subscribe to the channel today. Go Roadrunners! Well, it's a well-deserved uh, timeout for Dave Roback over here. He had a chance to get a sip of water and some oxygen and uh, get things going on here as the second quarter continues. State Fair has outscored the Moberly Ball Club by a score of 8 to nothing. State Fair has not allowed a point in this uh, second quarter so far. They're doing a better job handling the pressure in this uh, second quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments Moberly has made. This will be a game of adjustments. It'll be Lady Roadrunner basketball with 4.52 remaining in the uh, second quarter. Johnson to inbound it for the Lady Roadrunners. Johnson surveys to Kamora McClure. Back to Myra Class. Back to McClure. She'll fire the three against the zone that's short. Rebounds. Batted out to the Lady, Lady Greyhounds. They'll attack with Kiki in the paint. She'll turn and fire for the open three that's no good. Rebounded by the Lady Greyhound back out to Labrador Hallett. In the, in the post, Guest was blocked by Q Jackson. Madison Johnson to Kamora McClure. She'll, she'll step into a three to pass it up. To a, they'll kick it around to Kamora McClure. Kamora McClure will attack. Back out to Johnson, back out to class. 11 on the shot clock. Class will fire the deep three that's up and no good. Back down the floor to Desiree Bryant. She'll kick it off to Campbell. Campbell tried to get it to another Moberly player, and Lady Ground will lose it out of bounds. Back to Lady Roadrunners. Still good defense for the Lady Roadrunners here. Uh, have not allowed a point so far in this second quarter. McClure at the point now. To class, back to Johnson, high post to back to Johnson at the corner, and Madison just ran out of bounds, ran out of space in that corner down there. Al, like you're talking about. Yeah, that's twice tonight. Averages at least one, probably 1.8. Don't you think on the season? It it, ha it happens often, as the uh, Lady Ground will walk this thing back into to the front court with Campbell. Pettis will have it on, on the elbow. Desiree Bryant, back to Pettis. Surveys, 
against Q. As they kick it around. Five on the shot clock and the and the post. It'll be Lady Greyhound basketball. With a fresh they have a fresh thirty up there now, but they're at one now. That's gotta reset though. Reset it to one. The Lady Greyhounds have to move move quickly now up the stack. Bryant will fire it inbounds to Kiki, but uh, Kiki uh, ran out of time, and it'll be a turnover back to Lady Roadrunners. Kamora Come McClure's in point. She'll be picked up quickly by Campbell to Johnson. Back to McClure. They play catch with it. High post to Johnson Nash. The shot is up, no good. Rebound is battle four, and it'll it'll stay with the Lady Greyhounds. Campbell have it in the front court. Off the screen, Campbell. Campbell will, will attack. Get it to Labrador Hallett. To Yeski. To Pettis. The shot is up, no good. Rebounded by LT Johnson Nash to McClure. They'll call that out off the Lady Roadrunners. They'll return to possession of the uh, Lady Greyhounds. Bryant, Bryant will inbound this thing. To Labrador Hallett. Hallett will go off the screen. Get it back to Yasky. Open in the corner to Campbell. Back to Labrador Hallett. Back to Bryant on the weave action. And it'll be a foul call on the floor on the Lady Roadrunners. That'll be the second on Kamora, Kamora McClure. We'll see KG back in the contest for the Lady Roadrunners. Labrador Hallett off a of screen to Bryant. The runner in the lane is up, no good. Q tried to win the battle for the rebound. It, it was... Her, her and Desiree Bryant battling for it. It'll be a jump ball. Stay with the uh, Lady Greyhounds. With twenty, on, with twelve on the shot clock. Fouls are down. I'm sorry, they, fouls are down. A lot more this quarter than the first, but still plenty. And we've got a holding foul on the uh, Lady Roadrunner. It looks like. Before the ball was entered, that'll be the second on the Thomas Johnson Nash. Tonight, the Marshall back in for the Lady Roadrunners. Still 12 on the shot clock with 139 remaining. Now they'll reset it to 20. Yes, you will attack against Marshall. Pettis. Had a such a jump ball. Nice defense there by Q Jackson to, to stand her ground and force the whole force the held ball. Quick hands in there and the possession arrow now belongs to State Fair. On minute 32, and what you'd like to see for State Fair here is just the final 90 seconds. Just control the basketball, no turnovers, get a good set, don't rush your shot. Maybe hit a three or two here late. KG will bring it down to Madison Johnson. Back to KG and the high post to Marshall. Marshall operates. She'll kick it out to Johnson. To class. Johnson, they move it around the perimeter. KG will fire the three that's up and good. There you go. That's a clutch shot by Nahila Green right there. That's her third triple. She has 11 points to lead the way. The layup was blocked by Campbell. Johnson will run it back down the floor with less than a minute remaining. Here comes Johnson. On the bounce to Class. Class is open three. is up and just off. Rebounded by Q. Q will come back with it to Marshall. 
Marshall about fell out of bounds, but the ball is loose on the floor, and the official will give it to Moberly with 44.4 seconds remaining. Back in comes Tamias, Tamias Stevenson for the Lady Greyhounds. Labrador Howe at its point as the Lady Grounds will walk into the front court to Bryant to Kiki back to Labrador Howe on the top of the key to Stevenson to Labrador Howe to Bryant with eight seven against Q Jackson rebounded by the Lady Roadrunner here comes Madison Johnson out of there with it. Clock running down. Johnson's layup opportunity up, no good, but she'll draw a foul and go to the free throw line for a pair. Still, State Fair has not allowed a point in the second quarter. State Fair has outscored Moberly 10, make it 11 to nothing. Don't see that very often, do you? No, it's, it's hard to pitch a shutout even this far into the quarter. The first free throw from Johnson is up, no good. She'll have one more. Ten seconds remaining in the uh, second quarter clock. Johnson's second free throw is on the way, and good. Lady Roadrunners with ten seconds left. Bryant has it for Moberly. Bryant still has it. Runner in the lane, up, no good. Rebounded by Guest. The shot is up, and Good as the shot clock expires, but the uh, Lady Roadrunners held, held the Lady Greyhounds only two points in the two points in the quarter and lead at half, 25-16. 75% of State Fair students who apply receive financial aid, and there are more options than ever to make college tuition affordable. The SFCC Foundation has nearly a quarter million dollars in scholarships to offer. Active duty military, veterans, and dependents can qualify for SFCC's lowest tuition rate. For more information, visit the Financial Aid and Veterans Services Office on the Sedalia campus or call 660-530-5834. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Boonville, WK Chevy in Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. The Learning Force at State Fair Community College offers a wide variety of community education this semester. From leadership training to small business development or even yoga or photography, the Learning Force is a great way to develop your skills, even if you aren't looking for a degree. For more information, email the Learning Force at sfccmo.edu or call 660-530-5822. We're at the half and State Fair with a 25 to 16 lead. We'll have some stats for you in just a moment. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best, your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients in the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy. We do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapists in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. When you buy a used car, how do you know that hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile 6, powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. You're watching State Fair Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel Roadrunner Hoops. Follow the Roadrunners on your favorite social media platform. 
on Facebook at Go Roadrunners, on Instagram at SFCCMO, and on Twitter at SFCCMO Athletics. This is Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel Roadrunner Hoops. Like and subscribe to the channel today. Go Roadrunners! Seventy-five percent of State Fair students who apply receive financial aid, and there are more options than ever to make college tuition affordable. The SFCC Foundation has nearly a quarter million dollars in scholarships to offer. Active duty military, veterans, and dependents can qualify for SFCC's lowest tuition rate. For more information, visit the Financial Aid and Veterans Services Office on the Sedalia campus or call 660-530-5834. Catch the Roadrunners online at sfccmoroadrunners.com. David and Nell back at the Davis Center. It's halftime, State Fair Lady Roadrunner basketball. Tonight it's a doubleheader from the Davis Center as the Lady Roadrunners at half are leading the Lady Greyhounds by a score of 25 to 16. State Fair outscored the Lady Greyhounds in that second quarter, 12 to 2. And David, uh, you don't see that very often. And something else you don't see is the uh, low percentage of shooting by both teams in the first half. Both teams are both teams are struggling. The Lady Roadrunners are only shooting about 26.9%, uh, and the Lady Greyhounds are shooting 30%. But to me, the story of the game comes down to turnovers. Both teams already in double figures. Moberly with 15, the Lady Roadrunners with 10, and the uh, free throw shooting so far, the uh, Lady Lady Greyhounds are 3 of 7, and the Lady Roadrunners are 7 of 14. You would like to see the Lady Roadrunners taking more advantage of their uh, free throw opportunities. You'd like to have that up around 70% as a, as a team. Yeah, on, on average, they fares close to that on the season, and the uh, Lady Greyhounds are a little bit less than that, but one thing that's uh, impressive in the first half, State Fair has out-rebounded the Lady Greyhounds 23-17. to 17. And so uh, good on the board so far in the first half of play. Leading scorer for the Lady Roadrunners is Kayla Green. She has 11 points and three rebounds in the first half, so a good first half for her. Madison Johnson with six points and four rebounds in that first half of play. And for the Lady Greyhounds, they were led in scoring by Destiny Bynum Johnson with seven points and four rebounds in that first half of play. And, and once again, 15 turnovers, only one assist for the Lady Greyhounds in that uh, first half of play. So State Fair's defense has been equally as good, if not a little better here in this ballgame. So the Lady Roadrunners, they lead it by nine and that's some of the uh, Greyhound ball club out on the floor getting warmed up for the second ball game here tonight. Lady Roadrunners are 13-1 and one on the season, and the Lady Greyhounds are 8-6. and six. And once again, this is the first region game for both clubs, so it's very important to uh, get everything that you can at home this season as it's going to be, as always, a tough region 16. As former Roadrunner coach Kevin Thomas would say all the time, you win your home games, you try to steal a couple on the road, and that's the recipe for a fairly high region seed when this thing goes all said and done. Got a chance then, don't you? Yep. So a very important game for both teams, especially State Fair, trying to protect their home court. 25-16, to 16, a low-scoring affair in this first half of play. Roadrunners lead it by nine. We'll be back with the second half. Stay with us as we pause for this here on the Home of the Roadrunners. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best. 
your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients in the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy, we do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapists in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. When you buy a used car, how do you know that hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. You're watching State Fair Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel Roadrunner Hoops. Did you know that State Fair Community College offers 12 different online degree and certificate programs? Taking online courses from State Fair is a great option for anyone wishing to complete an Associates of Arts program to transfer to a four-year school. SFCC also offers online associate degree programs in business management, health information technology, and multiple other health-related fields. Certificate programs for medical coding, pharmacy technician, and other fields are available too. If you or someone you know may be interested in online courses at State Fair, visit sfccmo.edu and click Academics, then SFCC Online. It's never been easier to be a roadrunner with online degree and certificate programs at State Fair Community College. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Boonville, WK Chevy and Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. A slip on the ice, a fall that has left you hurting. There are a lot of reasons that you may need physical therapy. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director at Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. We strive to enhance each patient's health, fitness, and quality of life while specializing in individual treatment. If you've been putting off physical therapy, ask to be referred to Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. Visit peaksportspine.com to find a clinic near you. You are watching State Fair Hoops. Go Roadrunners! We're at the half State Fair. Lady Roadrunners lead at 25 to 16. Second half comes your way in just a moment. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Boonville, WK Chevy and Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. Com. You are watching State Fair Hoops. Go Roadrunners! The Office of Admissions and Outreach at State Fair Community College invites all school counselors and prospective students in grades 7 through 10 to Career Exploration Days. Visitors can tour the campus and participate in activities while exploring a variety of career options. Faculty will be on hand to showcase their programs of study. There are multiple career exploration days to choose from. Friday, December 6th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Friday, March 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And Friday, April 17th also from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. To make a reservation, visit the admissions office online at sfccmo.edu or you can call the admissions office at 660-530-5833. 
We'll see you at Career Exploration Days on the Sedalia campus of State Fair Community College. Whatever your career choice, State Fair Community College has a program that's right for you. Are you still undecided? Elective courses let you explore different majors while you adjust to college life. Whether you want to get a job as soon as possible or a bachelor's degree, State Fair has great programs and options. Many of our Associate of Applied Science programs emphasize technical courses so you can get career training in just two years. Or, if your goal is a bachelor's degree, our Associate's Degree programs will give you first-rate fundamentals for a transfer to a four-year college. Learn more about each of our certificates, degrees, and areas of study at sfccmo.edu. When you buy a used car, how do you know it hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. Catch the Roadrunners online at sfccmoroadrunners.com. Back at the Davis Center, at the intermission is just about over. State Fair Lady Roadrunners on top by 9, 25 16. Good first quarter, or first half rather, for State Fair's KG, having 11 points and three rebounds to lead the way for State Fair. Roadrunners have out rebounded the Lady Greyhounds 23 17 in that first half. 15 turnovers for the Lady Greyhounds, 10 for the Lady Roadrunners. Personal fouls, 14 for Moberly and 10 for the Lady Roadrunners. So plenty of uh, fouls, plenty of turnovers, especially in that first quarter. David, I think uh, both teams have kind of settled down a little bit in this ball game. Yeah, the, the pace is definitely uh, slow just a little bit. You could, you could tell both teams were adjusting in the first quarter to the uh, pace of the region, of region 16 basketball as we look down on the floor and see a former Roadrunner assistant, Blake Kingsley, who's now serving as an assistant for a Pat Smith and the uh, Moberly Greyhounds. It's good to see Blake in the house. Sure is. Had some uh, good moments here at State Fair. We wish him well. This ball club is 12-3 and three and number 16 in the country, so they're riding pretty high. Moberly will inbound the basketball to begin the third quarter, which will be key to who's able to get control of this contest. Campbell at the point for the Lady Greyhounds to Bynum Johnson. Bynum Johnson dribbles out with it to Brown. To Campbell with 14 on the shot clock. She crosses the logo, calls the, calls the play. Campbell with it again. That's tapped away, tapped away by LT Johnson Nash. She'll get a steal, try to lay it in, but missed the layup, but she's fouled, and she'll, she'll take a hard tumble to the floor, but she appears to be all right. She'll head to the free throw line, and she'll pair of free throws. Crashed uh, with her right shoulder right into the padded area of the upright portion of the back of the uh, backboard there. To the line, shoot two. The first free throw is off the front rim, no good. That, that's the first foul on Moberly's Azaria Campbell. Johnson Nash will have one more free throw. The second one is up and good. As the officials blew the whistle for some reason, but now Moberly will enter the basketball with Campbell. Picked up by KG in the man to man. Still attack. They'll run a, a dribble weave action to DelVal. That's stolen, tapped away by the Lady Roadrunners. Johnson will secure the steal to KG. KG is fouled once again by Campbell. Second of the game, second and a half, and the second of the Lady Greyhounds in the third quarter. 
as Johnson Nash will inbound this right in front of us, the Lady Rodons, to a KG against the zone defense. Looks like a 2 3 to the high post to LT. She will attack. It's batted away, last touch by the Lady Roadrunners. It'll go back to the Lady Greyhounds. A quick, very strong, quick move. Just couldn't finish the play. That was a, a good offensive effort that time by State Fair. Campbell will survey the top of the key. Hand off to DelVal. And the, the short shot is up and good for Bynum Johnson. She's got nine so far in the game, I believe. The lady, the lady Roadrunner will come back down the floor with it. KG will fire another deep three from the elbow that's splashed home. She's really had the uh, three-point touch so far this evening, Al. Yeah, has four of them tonight, 14 total points for KG. Bynum Johnson with it again. She'll attack against Madison Johnson. Give it up. Back out to DelVal at the elbow. And it'll be thrown out of bounds. And the Lady Roadrunners will retain possession or get possession back. 29-18, Lady Roadrunners. 8-15 remaining in the third quarter. Johnson on the elbow. To Malia Miller, she'll fire the deep three. That's up and also splashed home. There you go. Start nailing those, and it's going to stretch it out pretty good. That'll be a quick timeout called by Moberly. And State Fair leads at 32-18 with 7.59 remaining in the third quarter. 75% of State Fair students who apply receive financial aid, and there are more options than ever to make college tuition affordable. The SFCC Foundation has nearly a quarter million dollars in scholarships to offer. Active duty military, veterans, and dependents can qualify for SFCC's lowest tuition rate. For more information, visit the Financial Aid and Veterans Services Office on the Sedalia campus or call 660-530-5834. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Boonville, WK Chevy in Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. Catch Road Rotor Basketball on YouTube, both live and archived games from this year. Go to YouTube.com and search Roadrunner Hoops. State Fair with a 32-18 lead. Just a couple of minutes into the third quarter play. Mobley scored only four points, David, since the end of the first quarter. So a great uh, defensive effort for State Fair so far. Need to keep it up. What State Fair has done really well is taking their time with their outside shooting and uh, hitting a couple of threes, that's a good way to stretch this thing out. Yeah, that will definitely loose up that, loosen up that uh, lady ground defense. You can tell they're really packing in against the, uh, our post players as the lady grounds will bring it down the floor with Campbell out of the timeout off the screen. More dribbly back to Bryan. She almost lost it, retrieves it. Back to Bynum Johnson on the wing. Back to Bryant. She will attack. Kick it back out to Campbell. The layup opportunity is up. No good. Rebounded by Jada Shook. And KG will bring it back down the floor to Johnson Nash. The shot is up. No good. And a charging foul called on Johnson Nash. As Meyer Class will check in for the Lady Roadrunners, along with Tanila Marshall. And Michaela Guest will check in for Lady Grounds. Never knowing those kind of deals, whether to stop and just pull up or keep on driving, but good defensive position that time, and the foul and then the turnover goes back to the Lady Greyhounds. Off the screen. They'll get it in the post to Guest against Ship. She will turn. The shot's up. No good, but a foul on Jada. We'll send Michaela Guest to the free throw line for a pair. What Morbley has been doing until now, David, is just uh, dribbling the basketball. Very few passes. Had only one assist in the first half altogether. So now doing a better job of uh, possessing the basketball. Got that one into the post. 
And if they do that and get it into Johnson, they've got uh, got a better outlook here. Yes, first free throw is up and bounce off the back rim and no good. Q Jackson back in line up for the Lady Roadrunners. To help out in the post. Guess second free throw. Is up and swished home. The Lady Road have to handle the uh, set press here for the Lady Greyhounds. Johnson will have it to Marshall. The pass is knocked away, loose on the floor. Marshall tries to get it back. It'll be a jump ball call. It'll it'll stay it'll go to the Lady Roadrunners. The Lady Roadrunners have to move this quickly because that the ten seconds is running down. They will entry pass to Q Jackson. The shots up, no good. Q will get her own rebound, go back, miss it again, but she will draw the foul this time and head to the free throw line for a pair. Q Jackson with that offensive board and then. Wisely did not put it on the floor and put it right back up. Unable to score, but was fouled. Q Jackson to the line. She is a 58% free throw shooter. And Q has not uh, put a point on the board so far tonight. She averages nine points per ball game. That, that'll be the fourth on Del, Del Val. One would think she'll have to sit as Mahalovic will check in along with along with Jordan Labrador Holloman. The free throw from Q is up and good. Q will have one more to try and add to her total. It's off the back rim. Guest will pull down the rebound. Moberly will race the other way with it. And they'll, they'll get it back out with Brian. Back to Bynum Johnson. Labrador Hallman on the weave dribble move to Brian again against Q. The shot's up. No good. Marshall will rebound it. And the Lady Rose will race the other way with it with Johnson on the wing. Marshall brings it back down. Tries, tries to get it to Q, but just a little bit too quick. Too quick there and too, too much confined space. Kiki will check back in for a Moberly. As the pace, the pace is quickened so far, Al. Yeah, State Fair is still doing a great job on defense and only committing two fouls. It's a good third quarter for them so far. Labrador Hallman will it. Pull the ball back out. They'll enter in the posted guest. Good defense there by KG to knock that thing away and make the uh, Lady Hound reset it. State Fair does a good job of double teaming. And then uh, on the lob pass, do a good job on the down low defense too. Bynum Johnson in about a 14. Labrador Hallman will take the uh, mid-range jumper up. No good. Rebound taken away by Marshall. Class will... Take it the other way. The Lady Roadrunners need to make sure they get a set. Class is open for a three. That bounces off. Marshall offensive rebound up. No good, but she's fouled. She'll head to the free throw line. And Al, the uh, open three-point shot for Class might be, a, might be a good set if she's that open. Yeah. Myra's a little bit cold. She set out last ball game, so this is her first one, actually, since the Christmas break. It's a little cold, but when she gets uh, heated up, things are going to be a lot different as uh, she's a great outside shooter. Marshall's first free throw is up and good. And the Lady Roadrunners will lead this thing 35-19 with 5.37 remaining in the third quarter. Back on defense, Labrador Hallman will go off a horn set with two screens. In the corner, they'll dump it to Bryant. They try to get the high post. Johnson was there again with the, with the backside post defense for the Lady Roadrunners. Madison will bring it herself. Fine class at the elbow. KG is open for a three. KG is good again with another three. 17 points for KG. That is her fifth 
Three-pointer here tonight. That really loosens things up, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've heard uh, Coach Collier say that KG really makes him go, and she's making him go this evening as Labrador Holman will kick it back out to Kiki. Another look on the post for Guest as Q tried to get there, but she got a little piece of the body in the process to pick up a foul. We have a timeout on the floor with the Lady Roadrunners leading at 38-19 with 4.45 remaining in the third quarter. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best, your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients and the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy. We do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapists in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. When you buy a used car, how do you know that hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. You're watching State Fair Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel, Roadrunner Hoops. State Fair with a 38-19 lead. State Fair has only given up three points in this third quarter. Only gave up two in the second. That's so a uh, pretty opening. solid solid defensive rest. Yeah, yeah. Lady Greyhounds have uh, been able to find the, find the basket so far here in this second half. Moberly will inbound this thing. And we have an offensive foul on the Lady Greyhounds, it appears. Illegal screen. That'll be the third foul on Yeski as the, some of those early fouls are beginning to cause a few problems. KG back across down the floor with it. She'll set the offense. Tamira Class at the uh, top of the key. Dribble weave action back to KG. To Myra, 10 on the shot clock. Myra tried to get into Q, but there wasn't enough room there. Moberly misses the transition layup. Back out with it. To Labrador Hallett. They'll, they'll give it up. Labrador Hallett back with it. On the paint jumper up, no good. She gets her own rebound, puts it up, and good. That uh, ends the scoring drought for the Lady Greyhounds. Still down by 17, though. K KG will bring it across to the elbow. Skip past to Madison Johnson. Back to Myra at the top of the key. KG is open for a three. And another one. She's got the uh, touch going tonight, Al, from the uh, three-point arc. That's six threes, and she has a total of 20 points in the ballgame. Labrador Hallett, back to Kiki. In the post, they get it to their their guard, Bynum Johnson. She goes up. She's fouled. She'll head to the free throw line for a pair. That'll be the first on Madison Johnson. Taisha Stevenson's back in the contest from Oberly. Stevenson is a 5'10 freshman. For the Lady Hounds. The first toss from Bynum Johnson is up and good. She'll have one more. Johnson typically averages 15 points per game. She's been held to seven so far, but she's uh, about to go and get a lot of points here in a short period of time. She's able to do that. Bynum Johnson, the second one is up and good. The Lady Roadrunners must handle the press with efficiency here. Marshall will break the press, take it down the middle of the floor. Marshall will go to the basket with it, but miss the layup. Kick it back out to KG for a three off the rim, no good. Here comes Stevenson back with it from Overly. She will re reset it. Labrador Hallett will attack. Spin dribble on cue. 
They'll call Lebro Hallett for the walk. And more nice defense for Quincinia. Yeah, Reese straight in there with some quick hands. That is uh, unofficially 19 turnovers for Mobley here. Class will find KG to break the timeline. KG is trapped. It's taken away by Marshall. Marshall's in trouble. Timeout called by Coach Collier to save the possession. Her team leads 41-23 with 2.43 remaining in the third quarter. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best, your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients and the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy. We do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapist in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. This is Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel, Roadrunner Hoops. Like and subscribe to the channel today. Go Roadrunners! Lady Roadrunners lead 41-23 with 2.43 remaining. Only 17 on the shot clock as they had to call a timeout to save possession. Johnson brings the other side of the floor. She's trapped. She'll try to save it on the uh, before she crosses the uh, line at half court and she'll get a foul called to reset the uh, shot clock. Heady move there by Madison as she was, she was about to get trapped in trouble again. Yeah, a little push there, a little extra push too much. State Fair now in the double bonus. And shooting there is MJ, shooting two. The first one is up and good. The Lady Roner really need to take advantage of the, their opportunities from the free throw line when they have the uh, double bonus opportunity as Johnson will split the pair. But that should be out of bounds off Moberly, and it is, and it'll return to the uh, Lady Roadrunners with a chance for a little three-point possession. Lady Roadrunners will inbound it with Madison Johnson on the baseline against the Moberly defense. The officials are consulting about something. The shot clock will go down to 20. Johnson will inbound it. In the corner to Myra Class. Class back to Johnson. They enter it to Q. Q with a nice move. They'll draw the foul on Michaela Guest. And Q will have an opportunity to go to the free throw line. Good out of bounds play there for the Lady Roadrunners. Absolutely. And Q can go either way. That time tried to spin to the left, go baseline, got fouled. Back to the free throw line. Q is one out of two here this evening from the strike. The first opportunity from Q is up off the back rim, and she got the numbers bounce to uh, <laughs> knock that one down. Q will have one more. This, the second one is also good as Q knocks down a pair of free throws there. Lever will have it. We'll bring it across the logo for, for Lady Grounds. Off a of screen, weave action to Bynum Johnson. The layup opportunity is up, no good. Rebound of my Marshall. Marshall will kick it out to Johnson, who will break the timeline. Johnson to Marshall, to class, as they swing it around to KG. KG will, nice feed to Q. The shot is up, no good, nice, nice look though. Stevenson on the backside in transition. Class tried to get the foul, so she wouldn't make the basket, but did, didn't make enough contact. And, Stevenson will have an opportunity to go finish the old-fashioned three-point play. Tamaya Stevenson uh, with a nice uh, move in transition. Lady Roadrunners didn't get back in time. Class got there a little bit too late to draw the foul. The free throw opportunity is up and no good. A battle for the rebound. Q finds it on the, off the floor to Myra Class. Class will bring it across the timeline and set the offense to KG. KG will spread the floor once again. KG will attack in the corner. And wave off the shot. We'll see what we'll see what they call here. It'll be on the uh, Lady Greyhounds. That'll send KG to the free throw line. Sydney Pettis will head 
Head into the game for the Lady Greyhounds. KG spins up and in with the first free throw. She'll have one more. KG having a night. 21 points. Six threes on the night. That's really been the difference in the second half. KG has that one spin out. Rebounded by Pettis. And Lady Greyhounds will bring it the other way. Labrador Hallett on the post to Kiki. They'll kick it back out. To Labrador Hallett's open three is up and good. That's a second three ball for Mobley as there's a uh, turnover. I think I would call Marshall for stepping in, stepping in bounds with the ball. So the Lady Grounds will have it underneath their own basket. Stevenson will, will draw the foul on KG and get her, herself back to the free throw line for a pair. A minute 14 remaining in the third quarter. Lady Roadrunners lead this thing 45-28. But they have to keep their foot on the pedal because this Mobley team will not go anywhere in this in the region play. Stevenson's first free throw up and spins out. She'll have one more opportunity. Tamaya is a 59% free throw shooter on the season. Stevenson second is good. Johnson will handle the pressure this time with the pass to KG. KG will kick it back out and reset it back to Johnson. Back to KG. KG will attack up in the corner to Johnson. Johnson on the baseline has it stolen away by the Lady Greyhounds. Kiki Yeski. She'll, she'll take it on the dribble. Nice shot by Stevenson. But it'll It'll remain with Lady Grounds. Some of the fans thought they might have been a push off on that play, but uh, the official didn't see it that way. Labrador Howell will fire the deep three that's up and no good. Rebounded by Myra Class. Class can bring it down the floor with a pass to Johnson. Johnson reset thing. A deep outlet pass to Green, but it'll be lost out of bounds. Both, both teams are struggling to. Uh, Handle the ball. 14 turnovers for State Fair. That's four here in the second half. Handle the ball just a little bit better overall in the second half, but still 14 turnovers. Labrador Hallett will bring it back down the floor. Just a small differential between the game clock and the, and the shot clock. Labrador Hallett against Sullivan at the top of the key. She get a screen from Yeski. In the corner to Bynum Johnson. They'll kick, they'll kick it around back to Labrador Hallett. The layup is up and no good. Rebounded by Q. She falls to the ground. The green will run out the quarter, and the Lady Roadrunners will lead it 45 29, headed to the fourth and final period of regulation. 75% of State Fair students who apply receive financial aid, and there are more options than ever to make college tuition affordable. The SFCC Foundation has nearly a quarter million dollars in scholarships to offer. Active duty military, veterans, and dependents can qualify for SFCC's lowest tuition rate. For more information, visit the Financial Aid and Veterans Services Office on the Sedalia campus or call 660-530-5834. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Boonville, WK Chevy in Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. Catch Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube, both live and archive games from this year. Go to YouTube.com and search Roadrunner Hoops. Catch the Roadrunners online at sfccmoroadrunners.com. That was a good third quarter for the Lady Roadrunners outscoring the Moberly Ball Club 
20 to 13. State Fair's leading scorer is Michaela Green. KG with 21 here in this ball game as uh, she leads the way for the Lady Roadrunners as we go into the final 10 minutes here. Bryant inbound it for Lady Greyhounds to Labrador Hallett against the man to man. The three up on the way is no good for Labrador Hallett. Myra Class will bring it back down the floor. The Lady Road have, have to be smart with this here to Johnson. Johnson spins in the paint. The uh, mid range floating jump shot is up and good. State Fair doing a great job with the penetration. That time did not drive in, avoided the foul, but put it up and in for two. Campbell has it on the to, to Bynum Johnson. That shot is up and good for Labrador Hallett. KG will bring it across the timeline for Lady Roadrunner. She's about to be trapped. She can't. Labrador Hallett will have the home run layup. It's up and good. The Lady Roadrunners have to do a better job of handling their pressure defense. Madison Johnson will be trapped. She'll get it back to Sullivan. We'll break the pass. We'll break the timeline with Class. Class is trapped. Class will go go get her own pass that was deflected late, and you don't see that that happen very often now. No, you don't. Heads up play for Myra Class. She is on point there. Home run pass. For Labrador Hallett is up and good. Both teams are getting up and going so far in the quarter. Sullivan to Class. Class Johnson. As they kick it around. Mobile will jump in the passing lane all the time. Class will go to the goal and fire up a layup that's up and no good, but she'll head to the free throw line for a pair. Nothing like uh, non-contact region 16 sports here. As once again going to the retail line. State Fair just need to do a better job when they get there. Myra Class, she's typically a, a good free throw shooter, good outside shooter as well. She goes to the free throw line, the native out of Tipton, Missouri. Del Valle back in for the uh, Lady Greyhounds as both teams continue to use their bench. Myra Class will bounce in the first free throw. Composure will be key for the Lady Roadrunners to get the press in the final eight minutes and ten seconds. Yeah, it's going to be very, very scrappy. So you're absolutely right. The first, the second free throw is up and no good. Rebounded by Q. Q will kick it back out to Myra. The Lady Roadrunners will try to get into Q once again. The, there's a scrum for the ball at the free throw line. That'll be a timeout called by the uh, immediate immediate timeout. The Lady Runners lead 50 to 35 with eight minutes remaining in the uh, fourth quarter. Live life to the fullest. Get back to your best, your peak. Do it with Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Hi, I'm Mike Trammell, clinic director in Sedalia and longtime resident. Our number one priority is the health and well-being of our patients and the communities we serve. We live in these communities. Our patients are our neighbors. We're as local as you get. Injury prevention, post-surgical recovery, work rehabilitation, laser pain therapy. We do it all with uncomparable technology and the best therapists in the state. We make you better faster. With over 40 locations in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. When you buy a used car, how do you know that it hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. You're watching State Fair Roadrunner Basketball on YouTube channel, Roadrunner Hoops. Well, there was a timeout there. It was an immediate timeout. Somebody got a timeout, and we'll see who gets the basketball. If it was a held ball, State Fair should have it. I think, they, I think it was a mobile timeout because they have two, and they're down to one. There you go. And State so. Fair still has three, so I did a little quick 
math and came up with the answer to that problem. There you go. Lady Greyhounds with the ball. Well, Labrador Howard at the, will break the timeline with the ball at the point. Weave action for Campbell. Del Val will attack on the baseline. Try to dump it in. That's stolen away.